Hi everyone, this is Johnny. Welcome to my Nasdaq YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm gonna start my new series about CyberArk hardening. If you followed my previous videos, you will see lots of videos regarding installation, upgrading, uh, but I didn't start hardening after those uh, deployment. That's because I want to save some time for my lab. So actually, when you finish your deployment, you have to harden in that uh, security issue. You need to harden in your servers, harden in your services to make sure your environment is secure. So this is going to be complete the all CyberArk installation upgrade uh, labs by doing a hardening on all those components. So today's video is going to start with uh, Vault. Um, we do Vault hardening after you finish the installation. Let's start it. As you can see from the um, screen, this is uh, 192.168.2.41 Vault. I'm using RTP connecting to it. Um, I stopped the last services and here and then I, I'm starting that. Once you're starting, usually if you didn't do hardening, you will see this line here. You will see firewall contains uh, external rules. So that one then means firewall. It's a, this is a Windows firewall we set up once the security snapping. You can see the inbound lures. There are probably tens of lures and the outbound lures. Um, there's some rules created by CyberArk itself, and you start your CyberArk services, then those two rules. If you see something start with CyberArk, that uh, CyberArk created lure, those rules gonna automatically generate once you start the CyberArk services. Other rules, normally it's enabled or disabled, are created by Windows services. So when you install Windows, uh, then they will automatically create those rules. For example, those are RDP rules, which is why I can log in. So I'm using the ESXi right now here. Um, you can see uh, this is the ESXi uh, console. Um, because I didn't do hardening, so the default Windows rules kind of allows you to do RDP in. And we don't have a specific firewall rules in CyberArk to allow our RDP port open. So if you go to your program files, x86, private arc folder, server folder, configuration folder, dbpalm is the configuration. You need to make changes if you need to specific rule after height hardening. Um, right now, we don't have any specific lure here. Um, this video is going to show you how to create a specific lure if you need it. For example, RDP lure after the hardening. How to do hardening? Um, let, let me show you here. So there's a folder. If you go to your installation folder, there's a hardening folder under the main installation folder there, and you will see a couple of files, um, exe file say vault harden dot exe, that's the hardening tool for vault. This makes our life much easier. CyberArk has did the wonderful job to provide in the exe file or providing a script to let you run after the deployment, which make the administrator work much easier. But we have some problem here. I will show you. Go to command line. This is command line two. So um, eleven server folder, hardening folder. Say vault hardening. So if you type the exe file name, so you will see the usage. It's wrong. The usage is completely wrong. I spend hours to try to figure this out, but uh, it doesn't work. It's not same as this format. So um, I have a post here to say what the uh, command looks like. You need to specify which 
deployment you are having, you are using the standalone world, or then you can specify the configuration uh, folder and allow RDP, RDP station IP. So uh, I'm going to try that. Um, so there's a hardening configuration for uh, file here. So you need to specify that in the uh, command line. So basically, this hardening file going to tell in hardening exe to do following network device and Windows security, Windows local security, and the firewall hardening. So I'm going to copy this to C drive. I'm going to create a temp folder. And that way, I don't need to type a long path name in my command line. OK, gonna close this. Can make it bigger. Um, here, I'm going to copy this command. I don't want to allow RDP right now. I want to show you once you harden the RDP can be disabled. You won't be to RDP because uh, firewall rule, and then I will open that firewall rule. So basically, I'm telling say world harden.exe file and having standard ROM world deployment and the configuration file. You can go to C drive root folder temp folder to find it. Okay, so now hardening is going on. It's hardening network device. Then they will do Windows security hardening. After that, Windows local security hardening. After all this, they will do the firewall hardening. Let's wait this to be finished. It won't take long, um, two minutes. I lost my RDP during the hardening because I don't have firewall rule to allow RDP in. So we're going to use in my EXSI console to log in. So you can see banner now. Before, I don't see that banner. So after hardening, you have banner to be warned. So the hardening process was completed successfully. Um, you don't have to reboot the machine, but it's recommended to reboot the machine. So to save my time, I won't reboot it. I was just going to show you the firewall rules. Look how clean it is. Windows file is on. Inbound rule, outbound rule. And then we can take a look at the configuration file. dbpalm.ini file. We didn't add any firewall rule here. So you cannot use in a file with advanced security to add a new rule. It won't work. You, you, I can add it here, it will show, but it won't work. So after you hardened, so I'm going to show you one thing. Before you will see this uh, external firewall rules, Firewall contains external rules. Let's stop it and restart it. And then this warning message gonna go away. It won't be there anymore. So server has been normally shut down. Firewall is close to client connection. Okay. Let's start the service. So there's a no warning 
for firewall, for external firewall rules. There's no warning for non-standard port, which we were seeing before. So here is a question how we are going to open the port to outside right now, how we can allow the service, for example, syslog, NTP, RTP in, those things. I'm going to show you how to create the uh, firewall rules. I'm going to go into add a new rule here. Um, copy paste doesn't work, so I'm going to type in allow non-standard firewall address is equal um, we're gonna allow my workstation which is 192.168.2.71 and uh, yes to allow it and the port is 3389 as we know that's a well-known RTP port. Then it's for outbound and inbound. We're gonna put the both. There's another port which is UDP port. We can put in as well. Save it. You don't need to worry too much worry about uh, the type wrong. If it's wrong on the uh, format, the DB CyberArk server service won't be able to start it. They will detect your error and then not starting the service. So you need to fix that if there's something wrong. Okay. Um, Double check. We add the two lures. Okay, save it. Start a service. Okay, looks good. On no parameter, allow non standard fiber address. Um, that's not right. Okay, there's some space I may not need to put in there. Save it again. Let's start the service. Okay, now it's working. I didn't get any other message, but Firewall is open for non-standard address. Yes, because we allow that. So let's try RDP again. Okay, RDP is working now. RDP users group, we don't have. Okay, we need to grant into RDP user group. Let's go to computer management. Let's reboot the machine. Let's take a look settings here, the system, the mode settings. Um, you need to allow Okay, so settings is allowed, and then you need to GPDIT. You already allowed to learn, you go to Windows settings. Here is some settings I want to show you.
Looks like lost responding. Okay. Let's come back. Windows component. Remote desktop service. Remote desktop connection client. And the host. This connections. So you can enable or do not configure it. That's, uh, that's, if you choose not configure, it will use a default system setting here. It will use this setting if you allow the remote connection to this computer. Then that's the one thing. Um, we can set to not configure it. We can apply. I apply then system settings here is enabled then you can change it here don't allow allow so far we allow and uh, we allow the administrator and another local admin account second thing you may want to check is um, window settings Security settings, local policy, user rights assignment. So allow log on through remote desktop service here right now is empty. Hmm. You can add the user here. In. Perfect, we are in. So we need to enable allow log on through remote desktop service if you are facing issue. Um, let's go back to our firewall rules at local folder program files. At Program files x86, private arc server configuration, db palm. So we add one rule, allow s3389. Let's look at the firewall, how it looks like now. Windows Firewall, we set the ones the security. Okay. Bound. ICMP has been automatically enabled. 71 has been enabled. That's a non standard port. If we need to add NTP port, um, here is uh, here's example NTP. We can create a new section called NTP, then allow NTP port outbound. NTP is just need outbound. And if you need to do HSM, Create another session for SHHSM inbound and outbound port. That's basically how you're gonna create in external rules. Let's uh, stop it, save it, stop the service. Override that. Yes. Access denied. You can stop the open with notepad and Oh, as administrator, 
to open TP Palm and the LAN we created TPHSM. Let me save. Double check. Okay, we are good now. Yes. Stop the server here. And then start service again. So we can see for one, two, three, four, five. We have five lures open. Two, three, four. We have four lures opened for uh, non standard firewall lure. Let's look at the firewall here. Yes. Inbound lure, one, 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 ICMP automatically added, and uh, one, 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 that's UDP one two three, UDP one seven nine two. Okay, let's um, that's how you add the firewall lures after you did the hardening. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you for watching. Thank you.